Hi, my name is Yona. I'm the after school leader at Field Teen Center, and today I'm going to talk about How the Garcia Girls Lost Their Accents by Julia Alvarez, which I read as an ebook. This is the story of four sisters Clara, Sandra, Yolanda, and Sofia. They grew up in the Dominican Republic, but political events forced their entire family to move to New York. The story follows their entire lives, starting with adulthood and moving backwards to when they were children in the Dominican Republic. One of the very first events in the story is that Yolanda goes back to the DR to visit cousins and aunts and uncles and to find herself and go on a road trip. And she encounters some strangers who are speaking to her in Spanish. And although she can understand them, and although she grew up speaking Spanish, she finds herself frozen and unable to speak Spanish. So the rest of the story explains how slowly over time that situation came to be. This is a story that hops around between all four girls and sometimes the dad and sometimes the mom. So you'll like this one if you like family dramas and how generations shape people and the connections between characters because this gives you a lot of different characters to chew on. It's also written so beautifully. Uh, Julia Alvarez is also a poet and it really shows in her writing style. So the chapters can be kind of long and they're a little bit experimental, but it's well worth it. This is one of my favorite books that I read this year. You'll like this book if you liked Tigers Not Daughters, which is also about four girls, uh, though one of them is a ghost. <laughs> and you'll also like it if you liked Yaki Delgado Wants to Kick Your Ass because it's similarly about a girl who is learning to deal with what it means to be an immigrant family in New York. And if you have read this book, I would love to hear what you thought about it. Who was your favorite sister? What was your favorite moment? My favorite sister was Yolanda because she's a poet. So the way she sees the world and describes it to herself was really interesting and unusual. She has messy relationships and she gets into a lot of trouble, which was fun to watch her deal with in various ways, sometimes well and sometimes not so well. I also really liked Sophia. She was kind of the rebel in some ways, definitely by the beginning of the story when she's an adult, yes. So I look forward to hearing what you have to say about this book too.